Hello, today we are here and me and my parents are going to do the Walt Disney World counter service throwdown. We are excited to try this out. So this is actually something that Disney Food Blog put out. It's kind of like those March Madness brackets that you see that basically how this works is they put two quick service restaurants up against each other and we all have to, there's three of us, so we'll be able to break any ties and everything. We have to come up with what is our favorite of the two, and then that one will move on, and basically everything just keeps moving on and moving on until we will eventually have what is our ultimate quick service restaurant at Walt Disney World. So I'm excited. I'm Mom, excited. Dad, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's see. Mickey's here. He's underneath the tripod, so hopefully he'll make an appearance at some point in this video. He's operating the camera. He's operating the camera, yes. So, okay, let's get started. So, the first two that are going up against each other <clears throat> in this list is Aloha Isle and the Sunshine Tree Terrace. So, both locations in Magic Kingdom, um, Aloha Isle is the Dole Whip one, and then Sunshine Tree Terrace is the one with the citrus swirl. So, okay, okay. let's see. I know this one's easy for me. Okay. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. And what do we got? We got Aloha, Aloha Isle, Isle, Aloha <laughs> Isle, and AI, Aloha Isle. That was an easy one. We're it all dull with people. Yes. I cannot remember the last time that I had a citrus swirl, the orange one, but I just know that it's not my favorite. Like, I just love the classic pineapple so yeah. much. That's Aloha Isle is a classy. <laughs> Classic Disney. Classic yeah. Disney, yes. Mm -hmm. And as much as, and I really love orange like anything else, but I just, that pineapple, you can't go wrong with the Dole Pineapple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can take the, your Dole Whips into the Tiki Room when you're in California. Yes, I wonder if they have a Disneyland quick service one. We probably wouldn't know as many of those, I but know. that could be cool to do maybe at some point in the future. All right, so next up we have the Cheshire Cafe or Be Our Guest for Breakfast. This one is specific, hmm. it's breakfast. So, I don't think we've ever gotten anything from the Cheshire Cafe, and we've actually no. never been to be our guest for breakfast. No, so, so we, we really neither. can't, like, I'm gonna say though, what I just know I would love is, all right. Ready? Yep, are you ready? Yep. Be our guest, be our guest. And I said the Cheshire, Cheshire uh, though I spelled oh. it wrong, but, and here's my stupid reasoning, because I haven't been to either, um, be our guest for breakfast, I haven't heard a whole lot of good reviews, mm -hmm. um, on it you pay an awful lot of money, Right. and the Cheshire um, place is kind of walking, and they have those Cheshire cat, uh, cattails, Everyone talks that about I've heard that, that they are really yummy. Yeah. Um, so I thought that would be, that was my reasoning, yeah. but all right, so I lost, move on. <laughs> <laughs> so be our guest moving on. The reason I said that, yes, we've never been there. We love it for lunch. We've been there many times for lunch, but never tried breakfast. I think I would enjoy it, but that's the thing I've heard is that it's like super overpriced for what you get for the breakfast food. So if it would drop in price, I'm sure I would love it. I think the reason I picked this is just because I love Be Our Guest so much. Were you a Fun similar? fact about Be Our Guest, one time we didn't have reservations and we had eight people in the party and on our way to see if we had, could get reservations, I found a Bass Pro Shop credit card on the pathway and I turned it into the people at the guest relations right there in front of Be Our Guest and they said, is there anything we can do for you for being so honest? And I said, yes. Could you get me in to be our guest? And they got us in at 1230. Yeah. yeah True story. It, yeah. That was really There was amazing. no reservations that day, but we got the whole family in. Honestly, nice. please. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it was two to one. So be our guest is moving on. And now we're ready for the next round, which is Backlot Express or Woody's Lunchbox. Okay. Hmm. This is another one that's going to be easy for me. Okay, I'm ready. And flip. So we got Woody's, Woody's, and Backlot Express. Okay, so what's your reasoning then for Backlot Express? The food is much better at Woody's Lunchbox, mm -hmm. but there's no place to sit. And it, that's if it's, true. It's hard. The dead to... of summer, it's very, very hot. Yeah. Um, and B, or Backlot Express, 
their menu is always changing, and so it's you're kind of a kind of a good place. So I kind of like that. Yeah, that's true. No, we'll it, 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 it makes it makes sense. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I still I'm gonna go for the food. Right. And then I always one of us or two of us stand in line, and we send her to table stalk, table as stalk. I call it. <laughs> And she does the whole walk around, and uh, as soon as someone leaves, pounces on the, pounces table. On the table. Yes, that was the tip that you started, and I've given that tip in the vlogs before, that you always send one member of your party ahead <laughs> while everyone else is situating the food and secure yeah. the table. But so I that really, then you don't have trays that are trying to find. I enjoy stuff. their um, their grilled cheese and yes, their tomato food. bisque oh, with so the good. tomato basil bisque, I think it is. It's really good. Really so, good. Yeah, I go there. Yeah. Also, when I was in... Disney in August, actually on opening day of Galaxy's Edge, we took a little break from Galaxy's Edge and went over to Toy Story Land and went to um, Woody's Lunchbox for breakfast. That was my first time having breakfast yeah, there. And there that. was some really good options. I had like an egg bowl thing with the tots. It was very delicious. So I like Woody's um, Lunchbox. Their, uh, what is it? It's like a Pop-Tart, their take on Yes, a we've never tried that. Fancy Pop-Tart. <laughs> yes, we should try those sometimes. So. All right, This is making on. me hungry for Disney food. Yes, okay, so moving on. So, Woody's Lunchbox is the winner of that round. All right, so the next round, we have two Galaxy's Edge locations. It's between Docking Bay 7 or Ronto Roasters. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if the two of you have tried something from Ronto Roasters, but I think I'm the only one who's eaten at Docking Bay 7. You eat that, yeah. you are. Yes. Okay. And I've actually eaten at Docking Bay 7 now several times because I ate there both in Disney World and in Disneyland when I was there over the summer. So I've had experience with both. Let's see. All right. Okay. You ready? Toronto Roasters. Docking Bay 7? Docking Bay 7. Okay, Docking Bay 7 wins this one. And so. I, I say that I actually haven't eaten at either of them. Right. Um. I did try, actually you and Alyssa had gotten an extra. Yes, um, there was a whole thing when we were there. The so we did have, have a preview. we did share a little little piece of that. So I guess uh, while we were not sitting there eating, we, we did try we did that. Try. And that was a little spicy for my mm -hmm. taste and not quite. The, so that's why I went with Docking Bay 7 because I think I could find more food items. Yeah. And I like the seating area in there. Absolutely. Yeah, once you eat there, I love that um, it's the tip yip. That was actually when I filmed my Q&A, that was one of my like all-time favorite Disney foods is that tip yip. Like right now, that's my big thing. So this was an easy one for me. I knew I was just like, Docking Bay 7 is where it's at. Ronto Roasters has some cool items. Um, yeah, that wrap was a little spicy, like you said. But other than that, they have cool things. But still, Docking Bay 7 is the one that takes right. it for me. So what was your reasoning for you like? Just haven't been to the other one yet. Yeah. So. So okay. So Docking Bay Seven moves on. So now this next one, I just looked at it. It's pretty interesting. Two Magic Kingdom locations: um, Gaston's Tavern or the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor on Main Street. Hmm. Okay. Gaston's or? Huh. Okay. We haven't been to either of these actually recently. So what is it? The pl the, the ice Plaza cream. Ice Cream Parlor on Main okay. Street or Gaston's? Okay. Let's do it. Here we go. We got ice cream parlor, ice cream parlor, plaza and the plaza ice. ice cream parlor. Yes. yes. So for me, I'll start this one off with my reasoning. I do really like um, Gaston's Tavern. I love the theming in there. I do, at some point, I really want to try their sticky buns. He's supposed to be known for the sticky buns there in Gaston's Tavern. Um, I've never had one before. So once I do that this opinion may change but as of right now the only thing I think I've ever tried in Gaston's Tavern is the um it's like the LeFou's brew thing which I really didn't like there was a lot of hype around that and I'm not really into like apple juice flavored things and that's basically what the LeFou's brew is so just for me it I'd rather go have an ice cream cone on Main Street so this one was very easy for me and there's so many options at the ice cream parlor there's all the flavors whereas Gaston's really has a very limited menu I feel so That's that was my thought. reasoning it was it's being on Main Street and having an ice cream and watching a parade yeah. was traditional it's so. classic right. it's like quintessential Disney so mm -hmm. yes ice cream on Main Street that's moving on. All right so this next one we have Sleepy Hollow or be our guest for lunch this is very easy for me, yes. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Yes. 
Absolutely. I yeah. love yours. It, it's one of my favorite um, sit downs in yeah. Walt Disney World, probably. And I um, I, their food is great there. Mm -hmm. and, and cheaper at lunchtime and actually better than I think their, their dinner menu. Right. So I enjoyed it. We had a coveted reservation coming up in, in two weeks and our trip was canceled. But um, yeah. We'll try again next time. I know, that is such a coveted <laughs> reservation to get. Um, it, it's beautiful inside. It's a, a unique dining experience mm -hmm. with very good food. Yeah, and like you said, we've never been there for dinner. Dinner is more expensive, I think, because you have the aspect of you're getting to meet the beast. But um, if you're not really, if you just want to go to be inside, be our guest, we actually found it's a lot cheaper at lunch, and we like the food, like the menu, more than yeah. what they have for dinner. So that's our tip is go to be our guest for lunch. Somebody wants to say hi. <gasps> Look who's here! <laughs> hi, hi, baby! He <laughs> <laughs> was doing a Simba impression. All right, so the our guest moves on. The next round, we have two Disney Springs locations. We have Amaret's Patisserie and BB Wolf's Sausage Co. Hmm. I've never had anything from BB Wolf's, but we have had Amaret's. I have it. You have. I thought you did have something from there. I have oh. not. I have not. But did you have something from here? No, Producer, no, but okay. I'm going on another reason. Oh, yeah. okay. Keep thinking of. I'm gonna say yeah. All, All right, right. ready? Amaretts, 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 and BB Wolves. Okay, what is your reasoning? For because I never ate there, but I always look at the menu, and they have all kind of different sausages and mm -hmm. kibasi, and it looks really good. Different hot dogs. So maybe someday. That we'll have to try that. Yeah. Yes. Just every time we've been by I, there, we weren't really hungry. I'm not a big sausage fan. I mean, right. I like a little bit, but I I wouldn't seek that, seek that out, out mm -hmm. where I would seek out a sweet treat. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I definitely, especially whenever we're in Disney Springs, usually we like eat at like one of the sit down restaurants or something mm -hmm. and then are like, or like Blaze or Deluxe Burger or something. And then I'm going to be wanting a sweet treat. So Amaretz, absolutely. I love, um, I had like that Mickey Dome cake when I was in there before and it was just Mm, and so everything's good. so beautiful. I mean, yes, it's, it's like so exquisite. Really, really, they really do it up for good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Amaretz moves on. This next round, I just looked at and I was like, this is gonna be hard for us. I feel like we may be kind of split because it's two Disney Springs locations again. Oh, this is... But this is Aristo Crepes, which we love. That's where they had that good cookie dough before, oh, no. which they no longer have though, because now they have that cookie dough right. truck in Disney Springs. But it's either Aristo Crepes or the Daily Poutine. Mm. Okay, so we like both these places. So let's see. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So I don't know if I spelled it right. Well, we did DP. <laughs> we did daily. Daily. <laughs> daily poutine, daily, daily poutine, poutine, daily poutine. Yeah, it's just so good. And I feel like there's so many. My reasoning was that. Yes, while we love Aristo Crepes, there is a lot of sweet treat locations in Disney Springs. And just that daily poutine is just so yeah. like original. I love what we had there when we got it before. Aristo Crepes, I'm sure the crepes are delicious. I mm -hmm. haven't had them, but we, right. we, we get the cookie dough cookie when they added it. And I love that. But the poutine is a whole meal. I mean, yes. that's, that's delicious. We actually replicated it. We just did it the other night. Yes, here. we had it for dinner. <laughs> for dinner, mm -hmm. so yes. We love our poutine. It is very, very good. All right, so Daily Poutine moves on. The next round is Ample Hills Creamery or Viva La Gelato, hmm. which I actually just had Viva La Gelato for the first time when I was in Disney in January. And it was at, they had a little cart over at Disney's Riviera Resort, um, representing like the main location at Disney Springs. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So we got, oh, Dad, you're fancy. You put a little ice, ice cream, cream cone. cone. So Ample Hills, Ample, Ample Hills. Hills. And I voted for Viva La Gelato. And you know, it's probably not fair because I haven't you had You haven't that. had Viva La Gelato, right. And I, I really don't do gelato a whole lot, but I do know I love Ample Hills. I mean, yeah, they're, it is really good. the flavors they have in there are incredible, so. Gelato? Yeah. I would have been bleeding out of the ear if I used the word <laughs> gelato. Comment below if you get that right. What movie that's from. <laughs> But yeah, the reason I picked it, I am usually more of an ice cream person myself, but after having this gelato, you'll see when I get to that vlog, that's from my January little trip when I went to the Riviera Resort for the first time, I just couldn't get over it. I was like, this is the best gelato I've ever had. So that was the reason I voted for it. Okay. We'll have to try it, but yes, I agree. Ample, this was a tough one. So Ample Hills moves on because it was two against one. So 
There we go. Okay, so the next one is either Sprinkles Cupcakes, something we love, or um, the Boardwalk Bakery. Oh. Over at the yeah. Boardwalk. <laughs> so, I think this one's pretty easy. I know what we're all gonna say. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm trying to do like you, Dad. I'm putting an image on mine. All right, sprinkles, sprinkles. Boardwalk Bakery. Boardwalk Bakery, oh, really? Yeah. Bakery. Well, they have they have way more oh. selection there. That's true. Well, Boardwalk Bakery, yeah, you can get your, you know, sweets, but you can also get sandwiches and right. things like that. But come on, it's. Sprinkles. It's Sprinkles Cupcakes! We just love, oh my gosh, Sprinkles Cupcakes is so, it's the best cupcake I've ever had. Yeah. I'm just convinced. Like, every other cupcake I've been ever had since I've had a Sprinkles just doesn't live up to the hype of that. It's so good. Now, if you're ever in Hollywood, where they film Pretty Woman, the hotel, come out and turn left and walk one block and there's a Sprinkles. I forgot about Vegas, and I can link the video that I have when we did that tour in mm -hmm. Hollywood. Yes, that was really a cool experience. We went into Beverly Wilshire. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't realize that they had a sprinkles. Thing. We didn't either, but until we got home. Really? Hmm. Very cool. All right, I'm excited to see everyone's thoughts on this next one. We have two locations at Disney Springs. Oh, that was Mickey just moved, just moved the tripod. Nick. <laughs> He's not doing good fit. Alright, so like I was saying, this is one I'm excited to hear everyone's opinions on. It's two Disney Springs locations. Um, Blaze Pizza, which we really like, or Pizza Ponte. Oh. I know. <laughs> that was my reaction when I read it. Oh my gosh. They're both really good. I think we've eaten more, and especially more recently, at Blaze. Oh, but wow. Is Pizza Ponte the one by um, Marie and Enzo's? Marie and Enzo's. It's the one yeah. that we took Marie that, and Enzo's got the big slice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It is really good um, pizza. All right. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I'm going to say this one, but I kind of think it's... um. This is really hard. They're both really good. If you're looking for pizza in Disney Springs, we recommend either of them. Dad's doing another drawing. <laughs> All, right. All right, ready? Blaze Pizza, Blaze. Pizza Ponte, and Pizza Ponte. You know, I this I is really just hard. go down because <laughs> I I agree too with that. Yeah. Um, the only reason I picked Blaze um, was because there's more room in there to to eat out on like the the Disney Springs. That's true. I like and that seating area. They more. have the best um, drink fountain station there mm -hmm. and they, they yeah. have like these um lemonades like all natural and all too. natural uh lemonades without a lot of sugar added and mm -hmm. just uh, so, so i like that the pizza is delicious too yes but yes pizza pontes if i could bring the slice <laughs> of that maybe over all the blaze is good too right and you can get like okay. a keto crust if they you do. want if you have any dietary you know needs or anything free they do all the and then they're regular and ones. And then you there. get all your toppings. It's kind of like Subway where you can pick out right. whatever you want on top. But um, You're almost making me like switch again because I'm remembering right. I don't think I love a place. But the reason I said Pizza Ponte was just because I think I've only ever had a slice there maybe once. But it stood out in my it's mind. Of, it's just it's so good. like big Italian slice Italian. Yes. And mm -hmm. I believe it's run by the same people that run Via Napoli in Epcot. And they do the same thing, like they import mm -hmm. the water to make the dough from yeah, Italy, it's and it's just like very authentic. So for me, it was that was why I picked Pizza Ponte. Yep. Similar opinion, yes. Uh, but... Well, the smell, Pizza Ponte, the smell when you walk yeah. by there, yeah. that's just mm -hmm. incredible. It's a real deal. Yeah, I love it. So okay, right. Pizza Ponte moves on. That was a hard one. Yes. <laughs> okay, this next one, we're still over in Disney Springs. It is Chicken Guy, or the Cooks of Dublin. We have not eaten a chicken guy yet. We really wanted to, and we tried to on one of our last trips, but we ended up, um, I think we had to leave to the airport and there was like a super long line and we couldn't, it didn't work out that we got to be there. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Cooks of cooks. Dublin, cooks and cooks of Dublin. Yep. It's so good. It is we so good. We really like it. And that's, I mean, I... I'm sure guys, well, we, we want to try it. We um, do. We, but I don't, like, I don't just like kind of seek out chicken fingers as much as, but that, 
Their, fish their fish and chips oh. is just amazing. Yeah. It's the egg cook, so they, that's more my thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. So yeah, Cooks of Dublin, it's like that walk up location attached <coughs> to um, the pub. What's that called? The um, Raglan Road. Raglan Road, Raglan Irish Road. pub. And yeah, it is. We tried that for one of the first times getting the fish and chips there, and it was just, it was so good. We loved mm. it. So that for me is very easy. Once, once again, it may change once we try a chicken guy, but I don't know. We just really love. Mm -hmm. We love the fish yeah. and chips there. So Cooks of Dublin moves on. All right, so this next one, we got two Magic Kingdom classics going up against each other. Columbia Harbor House or Casey's Corner. Okay. Hmm. I know. This one is... Alrighty. Ready? Here we go. Columbia Harbor, Harbor House. House. <clears throat> Columbia Harbor House. Columbia Harbor House. It is so good. I love the, um, what is it? The pot pie. Yeah. yeah. The I yeah. love pie. the chicken pot pie there. It's good. Oh. I like their salmon actually. Is it? I, yeah. I always get that there. Well, but, you can um, get a lot. You can get a lot get of different lot things of there. As where yeah. Casey's is great. It's a great hot dog, and they have mm -hmm. several varieties of hot dogs, but that's dog pretty much all they have is hot dogs. And, and I like going up to the second floor yeah, of Columbia relaxing. Harbor House. Yes. Like, <clears throat> if you don't know, there is seating upstairs, and it, it kind of overlooks, if you get a table by the window, it overlooks Magic Kingdom, and you can just kind of yeah. people watch and eat. And so, yeah, Columbia Harbor House is one of my favorites there. Yeah, I just, I love the food, and like you said, it's more of like a nice... Like you can get a nice table and kind of have like that chill sit down. Whereas Casey's is very much a bottleneck when you're in there. It's yeah, very you're hectic. You're to find a place to, to yeah. sit. And um, the, while we like the hot dogs there, it's just there's a lot of options at the Columbia Heart Route. So this one was easy for me. I yeah yeah. It's as much as I love Casey's, it um has to come down to Columbia. Okay, so our next one is we have two Magic Kingdom ones again. I already know what all of us are gonna pick okay. between these two: Cosmic Rays or Pico's Bills. <laughs> There's a story to follow here. All right. Hmm, interesting. Okay, here we go. So, Pico's Bills, Pico's, Pico's Bills, Bills, and Cosmic Rays. So, do you want me to tell the story? When we, we used to love Cosmic Rays. I think at one point in time, it was actually our favorite, like, quick service restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. They used to have, like, it... Comment if you remember the days when before they completely enclosed the restaurant in, there was like that balcony deck that you mm -hmm. could go out on and you could sit outside and look at the castle. That was that was the like heyday but of the food was, And the food was so good too. <laughs> we used to share that uh, it was a turkey sandwich with cranberry mayo. Oh, it was so good. And it yes. was so good. And everything that I get there now is either a hockey puck hamburger mm -hmm. or some really horrible chicken. <laughs> I had a yeah. really bad experience with the chicken wasn't good. It, so, yes. no, so I'm picking Pecos Bills. Not that I, that's another place that's not. I haven't eaten there in years, but it at least was But I, I would rather get like nachos or something. Right. Like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So why did Wait, you, but you just for the nostalgia of it? I think yeah. that was the, on my very first trip in 1972 mm -hmm. or three. Yeah. I think that was that was the that's where we ate dinner that night. That's really special. Yeah, nice. I do. I love the. It's a perfect location and everything. It and it's very and like I said, it used to be like if you would have a couple years ago said, "What's your favorite quick service in all Batch Kingdom?" It would have been. Um, Cosmic Rays there, but recently, even after we had that kind of bad experience, I went back there with um, a group of friends when we did the Halloween party, and I was there with like Danny, and we had our big group, and I, you know, we all decided to eat there because that was just what everybody picked, and I tried to get again that chicken sandwich, and I was like more hopeful, thinking maybe we just it had a bad just experience, one bad thing, yeah. but no, it was like just as bad. Again, I ended up like mostly eating the fries, so it just it was twice in a row that it wasn't good so that's why it just I remember that's back, really dropped on our back show. in the day like where sunny eclipse used to be that area back 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 in the beginning when that opened up and went up into the air there was an actual live band that came up and they played so cool. i've seen that in videos yeah. and that, yeah. that's so cool i would have liked that so we need to have a revitalization yeah, of cosmic rays. You always have to go back to <laughs> Disney restaurants, though, and yes, give them another chance. Changing. You know, if you had, we've had two bad experiences, so it's going to be a little harder to want to go back. But after right. time, I, you know, I read the food re reviews too, like Disney food blog and things. So if they say something's yeah. good on there, we'll give it another try. Yeah, they're always coming up with like new things, and yeah, we definitely we love that. Okay, so 
next one we have Captain Cook's. So that's the quick service at Polynesian or the Riverside Mill Food Court over at Port Orleans oh, Riverside. Wow. That's a hard that one. That is a hard it's one. Tough. That was my like childhood yeah. nostalgia was my first mm. like couple trips to Disney World. We always stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. So that's very nostalgic for me. But I don't think I've ever like of recently eaten in that food court to like compare it. You guys might remember the food a little bit more from there. Oh, so hard. I'm gonna say. All right, you ready? I said the Riverside. Riverside, Riverside and I said Captain Cook. Okay. What is your reasoning? My reasoning, um, you know, a, a lot of the trips when you were younger, mm -hmm. when we first took you, we stayed at Port Orleans. And there is something about coming back to that food court. It was so big and spacious, and they have so many different food options there that we really really enjoyed and um if we come back at the end of the night and just go in there for a snack you'd, yeah. you'd be asleep you in your stroller be. and <laughs> that's the reason and i can't because i was asleep, asleep, asleep in the stroller and we were relaxed <laughs> yeah. and, um, it is it's so big that it's it's so big but it feels intimate that mm -hmm. there could be 200 people in there but you still have your own little space and you're still by yourself nice. if you want to be and... but i do love i mean <clears throat> captain cooks is is the food there is good and the atmosphere too with polynesian you can't go yeah, wrong no, it's but, very right. good. but i think for nostalgia for your father and i we're, yeah. we're gonna say riverside <laughs> yeah we should like make a trip over there on one of our next trips and just go eat there because now i really want to be able to like current day experience the food because I'm yeah. sure I'd probably love it as well but yeah I just I picked it because I can't really remember that um and I do know that I love the food at Polynesian but that could change now if we, we gotta get back over to Port Orleans all right Port Orleans moving on okay so this next one here we have the Contempo Cafe the quick service over at Contemporary or Sasagula Float Works which is at Port Orleans French mm. Quarter now. So we had the other one was Riverside and yeah. now this, French this Quarter. Tough. I have I eaten at Sasagula more recently than we've gone over and like had the beignets and I think we've had like breakfast there a couple years ago. So like more recent that I can remember. No, Contempo Cafe we've been... Oh no, well, Contempo Cafe I've been to very recently. I'm talking yeah. about Sasagula. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that you haven't mm -hmm. been there as much. Again. As much. But I can so like I can remember both of these more vividly. Uh, Especially Contemporary, we were like just there on one of our last trips. I love that. <laughs> Alrighty. I put sass. She put sass for Sassagoula, Contempo Cafe, and yeah. Contempo Cafe. I, I yeah, what's your reasoning for Sassagoula? I just put that down because, again, uh, the Quarter Orleans French Quarter area, that was another one we stayed at a lot. Um, I enjoy going in there, and of course, that's where you can get the beignets. Yes. So I love that. Um, that was kind of always something that I look forward to is getting the, the warm beignets and um, yeah. Tempo Cafe has some some good food choices. Yeah. So I, that either one. Is this one was good. hard. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, your reason? Well, the, the French Quarter, um, as opposed to Riverside, it's nowhere near as big. And yeah. it's it's very congested. It's just a lot of people, and you're kind of crammed together. The food's pretty much about the same. The food's excellent, but you know, for, if you're looking for a place where you just kind of want to spread out and have your own area, it's not the best. Yeah, I really just like the different options. We've been to Contempo Cafe a couple of times recently, and I just really love the. Um, I like there they have the turkey sandwich, which is kind of. Reminds me of the heyday of Cosmic yeah. Breeze. And, I think we're um, there I like the park. Trip, actually. We were. Yeah. yeah, and it's great. Like, if you need a break from Magic Kingdom, if the park's like really busy, you can just hop right on the monorail or even walk and go right over to Contemporary and like go in there if you're looking for a place to eat. So it's like very accessible to the Magic Kingdom. So I like Contempo Cafe. Plus, you get to see the monorails going over your head. Yes, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so next round here we have Deluxe Burger or the Mac and Cheese Food Truck. At Disney okay. Springs, which we've never been to the mac and cheese food truck. But even if we did, I think I know what we all love. Yes. Ready? Deluxe, Deluxe Burger! burger. <laughs> we have three for Deluxe Burger. It is just so good. The I think that is the best burger on Disney property, hands down, is from their Deluxe Burger. And I love the seating in there. They have a nice seating area inside, but my favorite spot there to sit is if you go out on they have a deck there that overlooks the springs and it's just very nice it's yeah. um very relaxing in there they have um 
just different like toppings and things that you can like pick the different they have combos that you can do that you get the fries and like a order of fries and two burgers and two fountain drinks for a flat price and so we really like it well, I, I like the Lux burger it's yeah. I, it's the good I don't good. think it's the best burger and actually where <laughs> is best is not there anymore it's still there but in the Polynesian upstairs um Kona Cafe, Kona Cafe. Mm -hmm. they used to have a hamburger in there that I thought was the absolute best and then they yeah. stopped serving it now so yeah that's another that's kind of another video but like to talk about sit down restaurants mm -hmm. but Kona Cafe is one that we like used to love so much it was like a hidden gem there but it's kind of ever since they redid the menu we don't love that one as much anymore so little side note about that, that might come up in our that might come up in our sit down for the table service all right so this next one is two in Disney Springs again we have Wolfgang Puck Express or the basket at Weimar George Mm. Mm. Hi. I have only been to Wine Bar George for a glass of wine. I've never ate anything there. So, um, hmm. Yeah. You ready? We got three for Wolfgang Puck oh. Express. Yeah, it's really good. We love Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. But his food is really good. We, we enjoy breakfast there. Yeah. Um, Lunch. I remember your your favorite, John, was it's that hell, meatloaf. Hell, like that bacon somebody wrap. can just take <laughs> meatloaf and make it a gourmet meal is unbelievable. But that is probably the best meatloaf you will ever have in your life. Right. How they got the crispy onion straws in the middle of it without them being soggy, mm -hmm. I'll never know. And there's like a red wine reduction sauce that comes with it. Really, really good. All right. So Wolfgang Pucks moves on. Our next one here is Flame Tree Barbecue, one that we love in Animal Kingdom, or the Sunshine Seasons in Epcot? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> this one for me is easy. I know this one, you have a reason for, yeah, you, I can't say. Okay, I thought you may have went with sunshine. You but. know, there was a time when John and I first got married, um, Sunshine Seasons was like our go-to first place that we when? went mm -hmm. for a meal and they had really nice big salads that we would uh, get there. And I don't know, I just enjoyed it, but as of late, I don't know, it's very crowded and um, just feels a little different. And when Plain Tree, I, I enjoy the seating area. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. That you're outside, you but under the pavilions, all the and yeah, it's always quiet. You can always um, just find a place to yourself, and the barbecue is delicious. So it's really good. More importantly, the food is delicious. The food is delicious. <laughs> yeah, and you always talk about yeah, like you said, <clears throat> it used to be Sunshine Tree. I guess had like its heyday of it had the fresh salads from the land, like the stuff grown fresh every day in um, the attraction there. Um, so I've never really experienced. That? Like we haven't really been to Sunshine. Did you see it's it's right? still good. I mean, they, yeah, all their food is really good. Choices. I think a lot of choices. I think um, mine's more atmosphere now. Yeah, is that it's just very you know congested and it loud. Is. It always seems you know? very like that's where just like everyone seems to congregate is right there in that pavilion. Right. And Flame Tree is one that I really do love. The pulled pork there is delicious. So that one, that's why I picked it. All right. All right, Flame Tree's moving on. Moving on. Okay, so this next one, this one's gonna be hard for us because the first one is Regal Eagle, which we have not yet gotten to experience. That is over in Epcot. That's the new barbecue place oh, that yes. they just mm -hmm. opened looks in good. Epcot, which looks amazing. That was like high on our list for that this next was, trip. We were like, yeah. we need to eat there because <clears throat> Disney knew how much everyone during the festivals loved that barbecue um, setup that they would do for food and wine and flower and garden there in America. So they ended up bringing it year round and they've made what was just like that, I don't even know what it was called, but it was just like the quick service there in America. They made it a year round barbecue place, the Regal Eagle. So we really wanted to try that, but because we haven't tried that, I don't know. But what it's going up against is Satuli Canteen mm. in Pandora, mm. which we do really love. This one's hard because we haven't yet we haven't gotten tried to experience the Regal Eagle. I'm sure we're gonna love it. I've heard really good reviews. All right, ready? Regal Eagle, Eagle. Regal Eagle, and I'm the only one to say it's a cool canteen. What is 
is your reasoning for you're that excited? Well, I'm excited for it. <laughs> Epcot is my favorite park. World yes. Showcase is my favorite mm -hmm. in particular to mm -hmm. be at. I love that area back there at the American Adventure. So I think, yes, and they, the barbecue, from what I've seen, I think I will enjoy that more than the options at Satoli. If, if, if the barbecue is anything like the smoke stuff that they've done for food and wine or flower and garden, yeah, um, it's going to be great. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm super excited to try it. I, that makes sense that that moves on because I'm sure I'm going to absolutely love it. The reason I picked Satoli was just because I really do love the um, cheeseburger pods that they have there. Those are like really, really good. So I'm hoping they have I, at Regal why. Eagle. I'm hoping they have the smoked uh, corned beef that they had at um, food and wine. Yes. Because that was just that's probably not the best. I think that is one of their is choices on, yeah. the, on their menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I say it all the time. Don't think New York Deli cornbread or corned beef. It's not that. It's it's totally different. Yeah. All right. So Regal Eagle. Regal Eagle's moving on. And we're back. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So. The next one that we have is La Artisan de Glace, which is the ice cream shop back in the France Pavilion, mm -hmm. or the Yorkshire County Fish Shop, which is the walk-up fish, mm. fish and chip stand in the UK Pavilion. This is hard. We love both these places. All right, I love it. <laughs> My dad has a picture of fish, fish and chips, fish and chips. And the Yorkshire fish and chips, yes. Yes. As much as we love ice cream, and the ice cream in France there is really good, the fish, fish and, chips, and chips, oh my gosh, it's so good there. It really is Very just, good. I mean, it's not like, I love fish and chips so much, but sometimes what I hate is like when you order it out some places, it's like that greasy um, feeling, like that fried doughy greasiness. But the ones that I get there, they're never like that. They're just like this perfect golden brown and super flavorful and I love it. So this was easy for me, fish and chips. <laughs> All right, so the next one that we have here is the patisserie in France, which is the really good like walk up that you can get the sandwiches. Oh, 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 in the back, as in the you back. come out of the movie. Yeah, as yeah, you come yes. out of the movie, uh, oh, yeah, so they, have market, they have macaroons. And they, have, they have macaroons, yeah. they have like all the good mm -hmm. pastries, and they also have like those sandwiches, sandwiches the croissants. And, yep. So is that one up against the La Cantina de San Angel, which is the quick service so in Mexico. In Mexico. Okay. Mm. So, hmm. All right. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I don't know. This one is really hard. When you start getting into World Showcase, I love some of This one's not hard for me. It's not hard for you? It's not hard for me. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Here we go. Dad, oh, you have wow. a beautiful picture over there. It does. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower for France. I was the oddball that's in Mexico and you got France. France again. As soon as I saw both of you doing that, I was like, I'm just going to do this to be different and like let it be, you know, put out there because I think the Mexico place deserves a shout out. But I do agree that, I mean, I love both of these so much. This was hard. I do love, I love getting the nachos there in um, the quick service in Mexico and sitting there on the water. I like that you can sit there. It's sometimes hard to get that's a table, nice. but I like sitting, if you can't get a table there on it's the water, I love that. But there is so many good options in France. Like I know the I like France, the, um, the food in France is just hands down. You have, food. You have sandwich. to like spicy food too to be most of them. Probably ninety percent of their menus a little bit more on the spicier side. Right. They the do have the kids. Pretty... They do have a kids menu, yeah. but yeah. I'm not as much into the Mexican as like we really like France. I love their. We would get their um, their cheese, their cheese board. Oh yeah, board. they have that with back a, in there. a really nice baguette that it comes mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. and. That with a glass of their French wine yeah. is yes. So I love yeah, it. I'm glad this one's moving on. I agree. Even though I said my God, I'm like, yeah, that is really that's where it's at. We like. And the stuff. wine, the wine mm -hmm. in there, they usually only have two choices: a red and a white. But it's usually a little bit less expensive in there than it is across the little alleyway at the actual wine shop. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. Pro tip for Epcot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trolling the dinosaur. <laughs> Okay, so this next one, we're still in the World Showcase. We have the Katsura Grill, which is the quick service in Japan, in the Japan Pavilion. And then we have the Lotus Blossom Cafe, which is the quick service in the China Pavilion. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Lotus, Lotus Blossom, Blossom, Katsura, and Lotus Blossom. You like the China Pavilion more. I do. Um, I, I've liked everything yeah. in China. We got the sweet and sour chicken. Mm -hmm, that is um, good. I do like you know, it. The rice, their dumplings mm -hmm. um, that they have are really good. The steamed buns that they have. Boba tea. Yeah. Yes, oh, the boba yes, tea. The boba tea is amazing. Um, but yeah, the, the Japan Pavilion, I don't get a lot of their sushi. Um, and the only other thing there was their... The Undin Bowls. Yeah, but, but that for me was the reason I picked it. I love those Undin Bowls so But their, their atmosphere, I shouldn't say atmosphere because they're both walk-ups, but their outside seating area... In Japan. In Japan, Japan, Japan is Japan, hands down is nice. Yeah. 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 Hands down. But okay, so Lotus Blossom moves on. Yes. All right, so this next one, we have another two in World Showcase, the Summer <coughs> Fest, which is the walk-up in the Germany Pavilion, or the Tangerine Cafe in the Morocco Pavilion. All right. All right. We all got the same answer. The Tangerine Cafe in Morocco. Cafe. It's so good. It really is a hidden gem back there in Morocco. If you go right up to the quick service there, they have just, you know, the meats on skewers Ours. and yeah. just so many. The, the meat there just like melts in your mouth. It is amazing. And they usually serve it with um, tzatziki sauce. Yeah, the, the couscous. Yeah, and, really good. Um, couscous. The, and you usually get a little piece of the naan bread with it. Yeah. And yeah, the tzatziki sauce that's over everything is. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, so that Morocco walk up, it's check it out. It is a really good one. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's moving on. Okay, so now we have two over in Disney Springs. We have the Earl of Sandwich or Morimoto Asia Street Food, which is Morimoto's walk up window there at his restaurant. So it's the quick service option there. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm saying. Okay. Morimoto, Morimoto Asia, Morimoto Asia. Yes, it is so good. I have had the Earl of Sandwich. I can't really remember. I think we had Earl of Sandwich one time for like breakfast in Disney well, World. I yeah. didn't really like it too much. We probably should go for an actual sandwich. I heard yeah. their sandwiches are are I'm really good. I'm sure I but... had one in Disneyland at the Earl of Sandwich. I think. I think we did that, but I don't think it was. If I did, it's not popping out in my mind. Like I Everybody just love raves about Asia. it, so yeah, this will probably. Know, I, I think people, um, a lot of people like. I, um, I just I never Earl really sandwich, but felt like going there. No, to Earl sandwich, yeah. yeah and um, more about Asia, I, hear I really about it. we had the steam buns there, and we love. Oh my gosh, steam buns! Are that. So their ribs, good. his little riblet thing. Yeah, you got the that that you really like, and. Um, yeah, sushi is really good there. Yeah. So even like compared to like one of the best sandwiches, I just still think Morimoto Asia has so many unique options, and yeah, that's gonna move forward for sure. So that was an easy one. All three of us picked Morimoto Asia. So this next one is another one at Disney Springs. Two at Disney Springs. Ghirardelli. So the Ghirardelli Chocolate Shop, mm -hmm. or Pepe by um, Jose Andres, which is the Mexican like. Um, service location by Chef Jose Andres, which we've never eaten at. Do we maybe have like a little snack we, from there? We had his food when he was the chef at House of Blues. Oh, okay. And I was not, I like him. I like his TV show. I like mm -hmm. him as a person. I think he's a great person, but I was not impressed with, with, and again, it's not, he wasn't back there cooking. So, you know, right, right. you can't blame him for it. But the, I, I wasn't real impressed with when it was House of Blues. Um, so I can't, I don't know. Yeah. I just know we love the Ghirardelli chocolate shop. Ghirardelli's. Yeah. Ghirardelli's, yeah. Ghirardelli's. We'll have to actually go and try something from his new, um, like, quick service restaurant that he has mm -hmm. there at Disney Springs for sure in the future. But we just, we really love Ghirardelli. And we don't even as much get, like, the specialty. Like, I know they do, like, milkshakes and sundaes and stuff. We should do that at Ghirardelli sometime. But we just love Ghirardelli it's chocolate. Like, going and getting those, yeah. get the free sample every time you walk in the shop. And just, that's very quintessential Disney Springs we did to me. The last, one of the last times with your grandparents, we we went there. Not this last trip, the one before, I think. We got something from Ghirardelli? Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe we did. I'm sure we have at some point in yeah. time. But, yes, it's just really good. So, Ghirardelli moves on. All right, so the next one that we have here is Everything Pop, which is the quick service location at Pop Century. 
up against the landscape of flavors, which is the quick service restaurant at Art of Animation. So we've never stayed at Pop Century, um, so we've never eaten there. I have stayed, when I was with Danny back in August, we stayed at Art of Animation, so I've been to the landscape of flavors. And I do really love that. There's a lot of unique options there. I don't really know too much about what um, Pop Century has, but landscape of flavors, just it wasn't like a just very standard um, food court. There was like a lot of different things, so I'm doing landscape. Landscape, landscape. Yeah, it looks good. I, so we really haven't good. tried it, but yeah, I'm gonna take your word for it. On yeah, this one, it's really think... good. So um, there's just a lot. Of, I like the different bays that they have with some unique things. Um, I remember the desserts there were really good. They had like some really cool like cupcakes and various things. So I'm gonna say landscape of flavors. All right, so the next one that we have is another um, two from resorts. We have the Mara, which is the location at Animal Kingdom Lodge, the quick service there, um, up against the Roaring Fork, which is the quick service at Wilderness Lodge. We've stayed all together at, um, what is it called? We've at Animal Kingdom Animal Lodge. Kingdom. Um, mm -hmm. I've right. stayed at both and have eaten at both. So. I, don't, I only have the one to go on, yeah. so. Um. All right, and flip. The, the Mara. Mara, the Mara at Animal Kingdom, and I sent the Roaring Fork. So yeah, you really like the well, food is Mara? I don't know. You don't I really, know the, I don't know the other one. Yeah. I know that my experience at Animal Kingdom was wonderful. Yes, and we, we love, we oh, love the zebra before. domes. They were yummy. Yes. <laughs> um, we did not love the breakfast. Don't don't, don't get breakfast the, unless the you African, like tomatoes. Because it? yes, it was like, like stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomatoes is, comes with everything. Comes with, yeah. Apparently, in we were so, so excited for trying when we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which that was. I wish I had that trip on video. That was literally the trip like right before I started vlogging. In yeah, I that would have been in what year? Been. That was like 2014 because I started vlogging in. I started vlogging in 2014, so that was either 2014 or 2013 that we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And I wish I had footage from that because that was an incredible trip. Like staying a Savannah view, like I we need to get back to Animal Kingdom Lodge at some point. But right. um, yeah, we were so excited for like the traditional African breakfast there at the Mara and it just wasn't good. And we are adventurous eaters, but even to us, everything like you said came with stewed tomatoes. Like an excessive amount of stew to me. Running it all over <laughs> all everything. All over everything yeah. else. So we just weren't. So that so that it. wasn't good. But everything else that we, we had did. there in the quick service yeah. was, was really good. And so maybe I'm just not remembering that. Like I know I love the food there, but I can't like vividly think of any one thing. Whereas I was more recently back in October actually I stayed for a night at Wilderness Lodge and had an experience at Roaring Fork and I just remember really liking they had like a lot of different like made to order things and so and and options. we, we may so, actually like that better but I don't have yeah to go on so, so. okay tomorrow <laughs> moves forward for now all right so now we are over at animal kingdom for this next round which is restaurant Asaurus, which is over in dino land or yak and yeti local foods cafe which is i believe the that's the quick service part yeah. of yak and yeti okay. so this one is easy for me very easy yes i already know what everyone is saying there we go. Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. <laughs> it's so good. We love the Yak and Yeti sit down restaurant. And then also that um, walk up that's there. Highly recommend that. It is delicious. They don't have much seating there. That's the only thing. No. At the Yaki, we usually seating. get our food and then walk like a ways down to um, one of the other locations that's there in Animal Kingdom. Right. Um, just to sit there. But the food is Phenomenal, and I really restaurant Asaurus. I think it's very standard. We've like, walked up numerous times and, and look at it, yeah. And it, it's your theme park standard theme, kind stuff. of standard, yeah. 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 So this one was easy for sure. Yak and Yeti, definitely love it there. Okay, so now we have two more in Animal Kingdom: Pizza Safari or Harambe Market. I know we've eaten at Pizza Heart Pizza Safari before, but I cannot really remember getting anything from Harambe. Okay, Harambe Market, Harambe, Harambe Market, Market, and I'm the oddball yellow with pizza party. <laughs> so what is your reason? I don't think My we've been there. We very really recently. haven't gotten anything too much from the market. I always say that I'm going to, um, yeah. but I know I didn't like pizza 
safari, safari as much. I mean, it, it's more like um, a, a theme park pizza, um, yeah. kind of like what was the one Pla pizza, pizza planet. planet? But I didn't like just, that. I think that's the reason I, don't I like that. It. Yeah. Whereas I know I can find stuff, um, but it, we're we're usually always eating at either Flame Tree mm -hmm. or Yaki Yeti or, or Yaki Yeti. But um, sometime I, I do want to try something because they have multiple stands with really. Um, Really good walk up looking food, yeah. Like sausages. I'm or... sure once we try it, this might yeah. change for me, yeah. Because I just only said this because I can remember being at Pizza Safari, whereas I can't really remember ever getting anything from Harambe Market. But I agree, it does look really good, so we have to try it in the future. So, yes, we have both of you voted for that. So, Harambe Market moves on for this round. So, now we have Pongu Pongu, which is the kind of juice stand where they sell the night blossom in. Pandora and they also have like the beers there and everything um, and the different like alcoholic beverages and it's going up against the Kringla Bakery in the Norway. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I know as soon as I said Norway it's like mm, we love that. Kringla, 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 yes it is really good. You can't beat that school bread. School bread is Oh, it's so good. Yes, we it's love one of the best things. Bread. It's like a donut with the coconut on top and the custardy cream inside. It's just, you can't go wrong. School bread is one of my favorites there. And so many other things. There's just so many other things. They have a nice me, uh, charcuterie and cheese Yes, platter. they even have like yeah, the savory have. things like that. I don't know their if they call it charcuterie are, in Norway, but. I want to try their, their big soft uh, prep pretzels that they have. They're, yes. sweet, they're sweeter kind mm -hmm. of pretzels. I think we did try one of those one time. It's been a yeah. while. But, um, yeah, they have just so many good things there. Whereas I do love, like I love the Night Blossom in Pandora, but um, they really don't have like, I guess they have a few little snack items, which we really we used to have those cream things. cheese. Kind yes, of we never tried those, those, but with pineapple mm -hmm. in them or something. There's but just so many that, options no. in Norway at the Kringla. So that okay. one moves on. All right, so now this is our final bracket before we then move into pinning what we've chosen against each other so we have the milk stand in galaxy's edge with the blue and green milk or the pineapple lanai which is the location for getting the dole whips over at the polynesian resort itself okay. hmm. so basically it comes down to do we like dole whip or do we like the blue and green milk I really love that. No All right, ready? We got pineapple. a beautiful pineapple, pineapple, and pineapple and I. Yes, it is, you just can't go wrong with Dole Whip. This basically was like, do we like the blue milk more or Dole Whip? And Dole Whip Dole is Whip's classic. <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat the Disney Dole Whip. As much as we do like the Galaxy's Edge milk, Dole Whip's where it's at. So that moves on, pineapple and I. And we're back. <laughs> we're back. Okay, so now we are ready to move into, we have already went through the first round of picking our original winners, and now all of the ones that have won from that previous round are going to slowly start going up against each other. It will make sense with the overlay, I'm sure, I'm showing. <laughs> so we're moving on now to, we have our first up in this next bracket is Aloha Isle. So the one that we picked in Magic Kingdom, the traditional Dole Whip location, or Be Our Guest for Breakfast. So Be Our Guest for Breakfast or Aloha Isle. Okay. Aloha, Aloha, and Be Our Guest. What is your reasoning for Be Our Guest, Ed? Just a lot nicer experience, I think. Yeah, we've never been for breakfast, though. Nope. But, yeah, I can... It's hard to put some of these together because... Aloha Isle's a walk up. You know, you're right. going up and getting Dole Whip. Um, whereas Be Our Guest, like you said, it's an experience. It's mm -hmm. a sit down. Um, the reason I did this, if it was Be Our Guest lunch, it'd be a completely different story. I would yeah. go with that. Okay. But um, like we said, you know, we think bre um, breakfast there is kind of overpriced and we've actually never been. So that's why I went with Aloha. I'm sure you had a similar That was the same reason. reasoning. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Aloha Isle is moving forward. Next one is going to be between Woody's Lunchbox, which is in Toy Story Land, or Docking Bay 7 in Hollywood Studios. I know what my answer is. I knew you guys were gonna say it. So we got a Woody's and a Woody's, 
and I'm out again with Docking Bay 7. <laughs> I think once you guys try Docking Bay 7, you're gonna really like it. But I, really? I know you like yeah, Woody's lunchbox I is like really good. Yeah. It's really good food. But yeah, Docking Bay 7, that tip yip, I can't stress it enough, that tip yip is just so good. And I need to try other things there. Literally every time I've been, that's what I've had. <laughs> I may have nibbled off of other people's um, meals, but I just always go for the tip yip. So I need to start branching out and trying other things there, but I just, I love it for that reason alone. Woody's Lunchbox is a good one, so that's what's moving on. It won out. All right, so moving right along to the next one, we have the Plaza Inn Ice Cream Parlor on Main Street up against Be Our Guest for Lunch now. Whoop. We all got the same answer. Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Oh my gosh, we just love it for lunch so much. It's I so do love good. it for lunch. It's really nice. And like you said, we had a lunch reservation that we, I know. for the trip in May, we had to cancel. We are, we have to try to get one. We're booked again. We got to try to get that because it's been a while since we've been to be our guest and it's one of our favorites. So and, and we got to get back there. It's beautiful. I mean, it's like you're in the castle, you're in the, the different rooms yeah. um, of the story mm -hmm. um, is really amazing. And I mean, if you have children that like that story, uh, you know, yeah. You feel the like girls you're or princesses them. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> They'll like it. It's amazing. So, yeah, we got to get back there soon. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, so now we have two Disney Springs locations against each other. Amaret's Patisserie against the Daily Poutine. Mm. All right. Once again, all the same answers, Daily Poutine. Daily poutine. We're agreeing a lot more in this round. We're yeah. moving right along with, yeah, we love oh, Daily Poutine. It's hard because one, you know, is a sweet shop and the other one is a like more savory location, but that poutine there is just, it's that good. It's, if you haven't tried it yet, you have to go. And what I love is they have the traditional, that's what we have is just the traditional mm -hmm. poutine, but they do like specialty ones. Like they have different um, location based ones. Um, with some different ones dedicated to cities. And then they also have like, I think at Thanksgiving, they do like a turkey one or something. So turkey. there's different ones that you can get there. Um, so yeah, I wanna go back there again soon. It's really good. So Daily Poutine moves on. Okay, our next one is Amber Hills Creamery against Sprinkles Cupcakes. <sighs> I know my answer. This one's hard for you, Mom. Okay, Dad's got his locked in. I'm down like you and making a picture. <laughs> Amble Hills. Amble yes. Hills. Really? Oh, I thought you loved sprinkles so much. I do love sprinkles. Yeah. But I probably would rather the ice cream over the cupcake. Um, really? I like the add-ins that they have and the different flavors mm -hmm. and that... What is that one called, the, the baked unbaked? Oh, that has like the cookie dough. So, yeah, that was really for good. For me, that's like the best of both worlds. Yeah, <laughs> and I think I'm more like, if I'm gonna have a sweet treat, I would probably go cupcake first, so that was my reasoning, but I'm picking sprinkles, but I do like um, Ample Hills as well. So, okay, Ample Hills is moving on. Okay, so the next one that we have here is Pizza Ponte going against the Cooks of Dublin. So two more Disney Springs mm. ones for us. Pizza Ponte or Cooks of Dublin, oh my gosh. Yeah. Gotta go with it. We all got the same one. <laughs> pizza Ponte. It's so good. It really is just a traditional pizzeria. And I have to say, think about it, as much as we love the Cooks of Dublin, I don't think Cooks of Dublin was as good as the location in the parks. Maybe not. Maybe they not. And I don't know, they're both really good. I'd have to go back and watch the videos yeah. when we ate there and they are yeah, but you know, pizza live. Pie, I love pizza. That's like my Yeah, you really that's like that's one of my favorite things to eat. So that kind of won out for me. Yeah, <laughs> so Pizza Ponte is moving on. Next round with Columbia Harbor House or Pecos Bill. So we're over in Magic mm. Kingdom now in this round. Alright. Columbia Harbor House all around. It's yeah. amazing. That chicken pot pie that they have there. Mm, it's so good. And what else have I gotten in there? They I know fish, I've gotten some fried other... fish. Yeah, the um, fish is really good. They have good. the burger, they have the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have that fried thing that has like, I think the fried shrimp. The shrimp is good. They have the salmon over couscous maybe. That's that just so many I options. usually get is the salmon I like. Mm -hmm. It's, that may be out of Magic Kingdom. 
feel like that might be our favorite like quick service possibly and unless, we'll see unless at the end of this round <laughs> our guest lunch oh would yeah now then me. that would win but out i always find out. consider that more like a sit down even though it's not at lunch and breakfast it's considered um quick service ago. it's a higher end sit down it's not counter service like i mean you place mm -hmm. your order yeah but then you are sitting <clears throat> and they bring it to you yeah and so that is it, it's a step above. It is a step above. Um, it kind of can't be compared. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I guess for the ones that are more like you walk up and like take, walk away with your food, Columbia Harper House would probably be right. the one. So, okay, Columbia Harper House moves on. So we have our next round is Port Orleans Riverside, the food court there, the Riverside Mill, up against the Contemporary Cafe. Hmm. Hmm. This is the one that went up against Captain yeah. Cook's last time, and now we're taking it against Contemple Cafe. Uh, okay, here we go. Contemple Cafe, Contemple Cafe, and Port Orleans Riverside. So you're just still sticking with. Yeah, the I, just, I think nostalgia. you can just no. Well, there's still more. I think you can get more at the Riverside. Yeah. But they're both good. They're both excellent. They are both really I good. I think I did it. You kind of swayed me last time, like I was picking the the Riverside or right. whatever it went up against, I forget. But um, in this way, I was kind of thinking of it. It, it would, has been what we tried most recent. Um, the food has been really good. The location is, is great when you're right there next to Magic Kingdom and you right. can go over. And I love being able to take have, a break from yeah. the park and like so, go over if it's you know really busy and we can't really get into any place that Magic and Kingdom. And to nice get to Riverside is like if you're not staying there, that's probably not where you would, you would seek that out immediately. So. Right. Yep. Yeah. So right. okay, Contempo Cafe moves on. So now here we go. We're over on this side of the board with we have. Deluxe Burger going against the Wolfgang Puck Express. Deluxe Burger against Wolfgang Puck. <sighs> oh boy. I'm drawing a picture. Wow, I'm, I'm so I know this one is, is tricky. For me though, it came pretty easy, I'd say. Because I do really love the one I'm about to reveal. Mm, okay. Wolfgang Puck, Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. And Deluxe Burger. <laughs> I, I, know, I think did. because there's um, a wider range of stuff besides just the burger, mm -hmm. I do love going, um, it's kind of my go-to for breakfast there, yeah, which other places kind of don't have. Um, so yeah, that that was why. The food is always good and um, atmosphere is nice. So yeah. yeah. And same day. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yep. Just yeah. more variety. I, yeah, there is a lot of variety there, but I just love that burger at um, Deluxe Burger so much. And I love the seating area there. So I think that's the one we've been to more recently. So it's just been in my head. But okay, so Wolfgang Puck Express mm -hmm. moves on. So moving right along, we now have Flame Tree Barbecue at Animal Kingdom against the Regal Eagle. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. So it's oh, two wow. barbecue two joints barbecue that end up being. Places. And one, one we haven't we even ha been to. Haven't, yeah, been to. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, those locations. I know, and it's gonna be like so hard because we're judging off of, we just think we're gonna really love, well, we've seen a lot of people give reviews and what the food quality looks like. So that's why we know we're gonna love Regal Eagle. Uh, okay, ready? Regal Eagle, Eagle, Regal Eagle, Eagle, and I went with Flame Tree. Just because at one point in time, I always go back and forth between saying Cituli or um, Flame Tree are like my all time favorites at Animal Kingdom because I just, that pulled pork there. I love it so much and I love the atmosphere, um, getting able to seating there at Animal Kingdom's Flame Tree. So that was my reasoning, which I, mean, I really love it. And I haven't yet experienced Regal Eagle. If we did this after we tried it and we didn't like Regal Eagle, my answer it, might it could be change. different. But from looking at the menu, I think they have more options there currently. That's true. Um, and location-wise, I, I enjoyed both of them, but you know, my pull is always to Epcot, so I will yeah. Say Regal Eagle. Regal Eagle? What's next? Are you ready for it? Okay, so Regal Eagle moves on in that round. So our next one is going to be, we have the Yorkshire Fish Shop in the UK mm -hmm. Pavilion, the walk-up for the fish and chips, 
against the um, France bakery, the patisserie back there in France. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So that's the one like we talked about that's mm -hmm. right when you come out of the movie in France, that walk-up bakery up against the Yorkshire fish shop. Okay. <laughs> we got my dad's Eiffel Tower again for France. 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 And I, once again, I'm like the odd one out in all of these rounds. I voted it, for the fish and chips it, stuff. It, fish and chips is excellent. It's yes. just there's more, there's way more. Again, um, there's more variety. Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of why I did it is more, more options. And right. um, my memories of sitting there in, outside of the, patisserie at the little tables and yes. having our, you know, um, bread and cheese and mm -hmm. wine. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it is really amazing. I do love the France bakery. I think I just like have that fish and chips. <coughs> I think I'm getting hungry too. I'm craving fish and chips. It is getting to be dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, I do love that. But yeah, I see. I'm happy that France is moving on because I do love it. So okay. France moves on in that round. So next up, we have the Lotus Blossom Cafe in the China Pavilion going against the Tangerine Cafe in the Morocco Pavilion. Hmm. Both ones that we really like. All right, me and mm. mom are locked in, dad. He's still thinking. It's hard, that's a hard one, but it yeah. It is a hard one. Go with that. TC, yeah. TC, yep. Tangerine, Tangerine cafe. cafe, it is delicious. That meat, like I said, I can't like hype it up enough that it just melts in your mouth. It is It's so healthier. It's the healthier option. That's what I That's true. It at. It's probably what I would go for more. Right. So. Okay, so Tangerine Cafe moves on in that one. Seems like we're back over in Disney Springs with these two. We have Morimoto Asia Street Food, the walk up, going against Ghirardelli. Hmm. They're so different, you know, one is yeah, chocolate and one is, um, hard to it is hard, one. but markers in, yeah, I know mine is too. <laughs> more about Asia, more about Asia and more about Asia. This one we all agree on. It's, it's incredible. I love those steam buns. Just can't get over them. They are amazing. So it's moving on. Yeah. All right, so next up we have the Landscape of Flavors at Art of Animation going against the Mara at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm. Okay, Mara, 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 Mara Animal, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, the Mara. Yes, it is <coughs> really good there. We loved our stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I think they do have like you said more different things, as long as it's not like the authentic breakfast that we didn't like right. at the Mara, but they do have some more maybe gourmet options. As much as I like landscape of flavors, um, you know, it's a deluxe resort. It's, mm -hmm. You have a deluxe resort going against Art of Animation is considered a value resort. So, um, you know, I think you're gonna find more higher end quality things at the Mara and those zebra domes, get them. If you are ever in that area, they are really, really good. So yeah, the Mara moves on from all of us. Okay, so this next round has us in Animal Kingdom with Yak and Yeti, the quick service Yak and Yeti against Harambe Market. All right, Yak and Yeti, Yak and Yeti, Yak and Yeti. Three for three, we love the Yak and Yeti restaurant. The sit down, like I said before, and that walk up, the food, is just great. I've never had a bad meal there. I've tried a lot of different things from there and everything is always phenomenal. So that's moving on for sure. All right. So now this is the last round for this segment and then we'll start taking all the ones that we just voted for pinned against each other in you know the next loop of this. But for this one, we have our last round being the Kringla Bakery, which is the bakery in Norway, in the Norway Pavilion. Um, against the pineapple lanai at the Polynesian, where you get the Dole Whips. Hmm. This is hard, because we love Dole Whip, but... All right, we all have the same thing, the yep. Kringla Bakery. Yes, yes. Your thoughts on that? It's We love the Dole Whip, but there's just so much variety. More yeah. choices. Mm -hmm. It's in World Showcase. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your happy place. That is my happy place. Yeah, we love World Showcase so much. And um, yeah, I definitely just, 
it's one of those things Dole Whip is classic, but really all you can get from there is like the Dole Whip or the Dole Whip floats. Whereas the Kringle Bakery, there's so many different yummy things that you could try. So it was kind of hands down for me. We were going to go Kringle Bakery. All right. Narrowing it down. Narrow it, yeah. So that was it for that round. So now we're going to move in to the quarterfinals. Step yeah. Further, yeah, quarterfinals. <clears throat> Here we go with pinning all the ones that we just voted for now against each other slowly. So we have the Aloha Isle from Magic Kingdom where you get the Dole Whips there going against Woody's Lunchbox in Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios. Okay, Woody's Lunchbox, Woody's, Woody's Lunchbox, Woody's Lunchbox. It's awesome. And once again, this is getting kind of hard with like, you know, Pineapple and I is like a snack place, whereas Woody's Lunchbox, there's so many different yummy entrees and things that you can get there. So yeah, I picked it because I, for the variety service, and that seems more yeah. It seems more appropriate. Get more food. Yeah. <laughs> get more food. Get more food. Okay, so moving on, our next one is be our guest for lunch against the daily poutine in Disney Springs. I think this is a no-brainer. You can't beat it for yep. lunch. Be our guest. Be our guest. We love it. We're ready to be back. Okay, so the next one that we have here is Ample Hills Creamery against Pizza Ponte. Hmm. Two totally different things, but Pizza Ponte. Pizza Ponte. We love that pizzeria so much. So Pizza Ponte moves on. Our next one is going to be Columbia Harbor House up against the Contempo Cafe. Ooh. Okay, we all have the same one. Columbia, Columbia Harbor, Harbor House. Just more variety. More variety and yeah, it's comfort food in there. I really... I'm a big fan of Columbia Harbor House and you have the location right in Magic Kingdom. Okay, over to the other side of the board with these next brackets, we have the Wolfgang Puck Express going against Regal Eagle. We're back around to that Regal Eagle that we've yet to be at. So Wolfgang Puck Express or Regal Eagle. Regal Eagle, yeah. I'm super Keep excited to try things. that barbecue. All right, moving right along, we have the France Bakery Patisserie again, now up against the Tangerine Cafe. Mm, oh, that's, a tough one. that's tough. That is really tough. Ooh. What is it gonna be? Okay. The Eiffel Tower again for France. I went with France. I went with Cafe. Tangerine Cafe. Just because I really do like the food there. Yeah. I mean, well, I like the food at both, but that's why this one's it's, really um, hard. It's kind of a, a more substantial meal, maybe. That's or, true. And it's healthy. Yeah. I don't know, but mm -hmm. no, either one. I'd be happy to eat it right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. So France moved on. So now we have the Morimoto Asia Walk Up against the Mara at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Okay, Morimoto. Morimoto, Morimoto, and Morimoto. Three for three. Can't get over those steam buns, they're so good. So this is the final round now in this quarterfinal part to this challenge. So we have the Yak and Yeti walk up against the Kringla Bakery. Hmm. I think for me this one's easy. Ooh, okay, Yak and Yeti, Yak and Yeti. Hmm. Kringle Bakery. Ooh, explain. Yeah. I, I don't, normally I wouldn't go with the place that has the more sweet option, but mm -hmm. um, because there are some other things in there, and again, it, I think it, for me, it just goes back to the feeling of being in my in favorite world place in world. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that makes sense. I see that. So yeah, okay. But we had two votes for Yak and Yeti, so that one is moving on. Okay, moving into a whole new round bracket that we're now putting what we just did in that last round now against each other. We have Woody's. Semifinals. This is now the semifinals. Thank you. I'm not <laughs> knowing what those are called. We have Woody's Lunchbox against Be Our Guest for Lunch. I think I know what we're going to say. Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Be our guest. <laughs> 
Okay, so the next one that we have here is going to be Pizza Ponte against Columbia Harbor House. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I got my answer. I'm locking it in. Oh, I'm the oddball out. Pizza Ponte, Pizza Ponte, Columbia Harbor House. That was tough. That was I, tough started, I started to put the Columbia Harbor yeah. House, but then I thought I probably would enjoy that piece of pizza better, right. and then I was going against yep. atmosphere and um, like them both, but being at Disney Springs is kind of, I've been really enjoying being there lately. So, yeah. Pizza Ponte. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and I just, you know, I love the comfort food of Columbia Harbor House, and I think the variety, that's what I was kind of coming back to, but I'm happy Pizza Ponte is moving on because it is a really good one. Okay, so now over on the other side of the bracket in the semifinals here, we have Regal Eagle again, now up against France, the France Bakery. Hmm. 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 Regal Eagle, Regal Eagle. Oh, and said France. France. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Just because know. If, if somebody said you could only ever go to one of them because I have the memories of France. You have the memories of France, right? That, that's why I picked that. Gosh. Gotcha. But I'm sure I'm going to love the food of Regal I know. <laughs> I'm thinking the food of Regal Eagle is more substantial, like a meal meal. And we're Regal Eagle may go all the way in this challenge, and we've never even actually <laughs> eaten there yet. Hysterical. That would be hysterical. <laughs> We're all just, and then what if we go to Regal Eagle and it's like a letdown after all this? <laughs> We're so hyped about it. Okay, so that's moving on. Here is the last of the rounds in our semifinals. We have Morimoto Asia Walk Up in Disney Springs now going against the Yak and Yeti Walk Up mm. in Animal Kingdom. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. But I think I have Both answer. similar. Some they similar, are, yeah. yeah. It's funny how some of these have worked kind out. The yeah, they are similar. What'd you have there? Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. I'm the odd man You're out. You're the odd man out now before you go to Asia. Yeah. Um, I, I like the Disney Springs area there. Mm -hmm. And um, everything I've had at Morimoto's I really like. So, but that's okay. Yak and Yeti's good too. Yeah, I think okay. I went off of, I love all of the options that Yak and Yeti has. And just, I've had some really, really good meals there that stand out in my mind. I can only like vividly remember being at Morimoto's like once maybe, maybe we've been twice, but um, it is also really good there. You can see it's getting hard, but yeah, that was my answer. All right, so now, here we finals. go. We're in the finals. So wow. first we have to, oh, I guess this is now like the maybe semi, semi finals now. Okay, so now we have Be Our Guest for lunch going up against Pizza Ponte. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Be Our Guest, Be Our Guest, and Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. It's a whole experience. Yeah, you get more, <clears throat> and the, the experience of it. Exactly. Um, is more than just going into a restaurant and getting a slice of it's pizza. It's called Be Our Guest. If you really think about it, you shouldn't have to pay. <laughs> we are guests you're here guest. in this castle. <laughs> yeah, Be Our Guest is like a whole new, like it's its own level above, you know, I feel like the standard quick service locations. Okay, so now we have over on the other side, Regal Eagle again, now against the Yak and Yeti walk up. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Regal Eagle, Regal Eagle, and I was going to say Yak and Yeti. <coughs> Just because of variety and we've been there. And so I know, but this could all change. Epcot, World Showcase, and We're gonna I love think it. there's a lot of options here <laughs> yep. that I really want to try. Yeah, more, more so than the walk up at Yak and Yeti. Okay, so Regal Eagle is moving forward. All right, so this is it. This is now the final round. It's come down to be our guest for lunch against Regal Eagle <laughs> that we've never, <laughs> that we've eaten never eaten that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. But okay, here we go. Hmm. I know what my answer is. Uh, okay. 
Be our guest. guest. Be our guest. And Regal Eagle. Yeah, only based wow. on the fact that if it's anything like the smoke the houses of food and wine or flower and garden, yeah. it's going to be great. That, that was tough. And my mine came down to the fact that I have never eaten it. Right. It, I may like it more, but um, yeah, <laughs> the experience at Be Our Guest is one of our one of our favorites, mm -hmm. and the food is really, is really good. So mm -hmm. it's a step above. Yeah. Like you said, it's not. It doesn't feel like a standard, you know, quick service where you go up and like get the food and go sit down. Like they. You order at the thing and they bring the food out to you and just the atmosphere you can't replicate that yeah. i mean the fact that it's a sit down for dinner and you know they've just turned it into a, technically a quick service for lunch kind of shows and it's just it's in a whole different rank mm -hmm. they serve the gray stuff yes, the gray stuff and <laughs> the cupcakes <laughs> yeah those are really good cupcakes there they're not quite sprinkles cupcakes but they're really good cupcakes. they are really good so but you know this depending upon how these were paired against one another. The outcome mm -hmm. could, could have been totally oh, yeah. different. Oh, yeah. um, but I'm happy with it. This is one of our this favorites. This is one of our so. favorites. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So I think this was very successful. We have officially, we can say, our favorite quick service in Walt Disney World, according to our family, is Be, Be our, our, guest. our Guest. Unless we all just are in awe of Regal Eagle when we get there. Because <laughs> we'll it seems like we're going to love it. There's a lot of hype that we have around um, Regal Eagle. Everybody will see it when we finally get there. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. I'm going to go ahead and link Disney Food Blogs um, brackets that they had here if you want to go ahead and play along. But go ahead and leave comments and say, do you agree with our reasonings and our brackets? Or what do you think yours would have been that would have been your yeah. number one? What we would have been your favorite. <laughs> Let's kind of continue the conversation there in the comments. Please go ahead and like this video. That really helps me out if you've enjoyed this. And be sure to subscribe, share this with your friends, and we will see you very soon. We have some more content that we want to do with some fun. Next, I think we want to do our table service. Do the same thing again yeah. with yep. table service restaurants and some other fun things that yeah. we've been talking about and working on for videos. So thank you for watching and have a great Thanks. day. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.